Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome to the scariest moment in Terraria Part 2. So back in 2016, we scared almost a million viewers with our scariest moments in Terraria. And I actually had a bunch of things I wanted to include in that first video, so that's why I'm making a Part 2. So in today's video, we're not going to be talking about spiders or portal cubes, we're going to take a look at something new entirely. So, with that out the way, let's get into today's top 5 scariest moments in Terraria. And we're not talking about delays. Let's begin. Five. So, starting off in the number 5 spot is only available to those with a crimson world. So you know the feeling when you're mining around and there's a tiny bit of crimson nearby, and there's this one enemy that creeps out and it has the scariest sound effect in Terraria, and that's the face monsters. These things will honestly terrify you if you don't know what to expect. Say you're just mining around, there's a bit of crimson above you, you're not going to expect this sound effect. <laughs> Especially if you're like playing with headphones on, and you don't know what this enemy is. It's definitely going to give you a bit of a spook. I remember when I was playing a beta version of this build, and I heard it for the first time, I literally did jump because I wasn't expecting anything like that because no sound effect like it had been in Terraria before. It's almost on par with that giant roar from Skeletron in the dungeon. Oh, it just creeps me out. Four. So, in the number four spot is detonators. We've all stepped on one, and when you're not expecting it, that can really give you a bit of a jump. Say, for example, you're just going through the world, you know, you're mining, you're picking up gold, and then before you know it, dead, right? <laughs> you don't last very long with a detonator, so it could honestly just make you kind of startled. I've had this happen to me in so many of my Let's Plays, it's actually hilarious. I'm very bad at avoiding them, and they just kind of come out of nowhere. So it's actually kind of funny, because Red and Senex were actually doing their own playthrough together, and apparently Red gets killed by traps all the time, so... Take that, Red. That's what you get for adding jump scares like that into the game. <laughs> three. So, in the number three spot is that uneasy feeling when you think you've gotten a nice chest when you've just gone into hard mode and you kind of walk over to it and you're like, hey, you know, something new, something I haven't looted, and then bam, it comes to life. Like, honestly, the way mimics work is pretty predictable sometimes. Like, we all know that if there's a chest on the, uh, the hell bridge that we built ourselves, you know that that's going to be a mimic, but every once in a while it will actually get you so good because you feel like you know mimics, you feel like you can predict them, but there is just these one, you know, rare chances where they just spawn in a very weird position and you think it's something new and you walk over and bam, it just gets you. Now this is always funny if you get people who haven't played Terraria before, you know, the people who haven't gotten to hard mode before, and once they do, and they see, I don't know, like a shadow chest? That's it. <laughs> They're in for a little bit of a fright. Two. So, in the number two spot is actually a change they made in Terraria 1.3 when they added expert mode bosses. So, we've all been used to over the years fighting bosses in a similar fashion every single time. Especially the Eye of Cthulhu, which is the first boss in Terraria. But when they made that change in Terraria 1.3, where it starts to scream and just chase you down, that honestly made me jump. You know, you're not expecting it when you first fight it. You know, you're expecting the same slow, normal fight that you had before. Maybe in expert mode, it's going to have a little bit more health. Maybe it'll do a little bit more damage. But the change of AI honestly makes people jump. Like, watching all of the Let's Players try 1.3 for the first time, you can actually go back and see all of them jump at that very moment. It's brilliant to watch, and it's brilliant for those who are playing on console who have yet to try 1.3. You just watch. If you've got a friend who plays Terraria on console and he doesn't watch, you know, all the PC stuff, you watch him jump. It's going to be hilarious. 1800 health. Ouchie! 20! Oh! Oh god, he's through! Oh good lord! Stay away! Oh my god, that actually scared me to death. Oh my god, my heart. Oh god, that actually scared me to death. Oh my god. One. So, the number one spot is dedicated to the most upvoted comment on part one, and it's being scared of a boulder. 
right? You know, when you're uh, walking through the world, you don't expect it, and a giant boulder just smashes down onto your skull? It's honestly the best. The funniest thing about this one is that, although it's very similar to the detonator, it is very, very similar. I feel like boulders are a lot more common, and they also have better placements. You really don't expect a boulder sometimes. I mean, as you progress through the game, you learn to look out for them, but when you're first beginning, you do not expect a giant screech as your character just explodes, and the absolute gore that splatters out is pretty good. I mean, it's not Doom, but for Terraria standards, that amount of gore just absolutely, you know, litters the floor. It's pretty funny to watch, actually. So, I always like this one because it always catches people that are doing Let's Plays off guard. I mean, the amount of times I've been kind of jumped by a boulder is actually pretty funny. So that's going to do it for today's Terraria Top 5 Scariest Moments. Leave your honest responses down below. Did you ever get scared by any of these while playing Terraria? Of course watching the video isn't going to make you scared. I want to know what happened when you were playing. Let me know. Right, so that's going to do it for today's Terraria video. If you didn't watch last year's video, I'll leave it annotated at the end. You can go and check it out. It's got some more jump scare ones in there. Some of the ones that you probably expected on this list if you haven't seen part one. Right, well that's going to do it for today's Terraria video. If you're new around here, make sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. And even next year for Halloween part three. <laughs> see you in the next one, guys. Peace.